All right, welcome to episode three of my Batman Arkham Asylum playthrough. Um, to catch you up, the Joker's taking control of Arkham Asylum with the help of Harley Quinn and uh, some of his uh, his thugs from Blackgate. And uh, Harley has got Commissioner Gordon held hostage um, up at the surface level. We're, now we're down, we're, uh, we're subterranean right now. And she's blown up the elevator that the only elevator between the subterranean level and the uh, the surface level, so basically we have to follow her up the old-fashioned way, as uh, as Batman put it. So without any further ado, let's go get him. All right. So uh, as you can see, we've uh, we're looking up. Uh, there's the uh, the crashed elevator there, right? That's not what we want. We want to go up there. And look what we find. We find a ledge. All right. So now, now where do we go? Oops. Uh, oh, run and jump. All right. He wants me to run and jump that way. Oh, but of course I don't fit. So I got a shimmy. I love that. That's the name for it, by the way. Shimmy. Hey, Dad. I know you can hear me. I got a little something for you to listen to. Harley and Frank are really out of the building. Well, now this is an interesting uh, one because we can go two ways. Category one patients should remain where they are. Do not attempt escape. I don't know whether it wants me to go through that vent over there or over there. Let's try the vent first. Oops. Will Warden Sharp please make his way to the secure unit? I repeat, will Warden Sharp please go to the secure unit? Well, I'm not going that way. Can't get. Oh, there's a Riddler trophy there. Uh, I'm sure you can see. Um, but no way to get to that grate there. So let's go this way. Multiple security breaches on level A6. Love this level design. Warning. Arkham intensive treatment is at code red alpha. And additionally, how they see they're using this level design as a way of teaching you a way of navigating the environment. So well done. Warning. Multiple security breaches on level B4. Before what? I know, I know. Lame joke. Well, well, that's interesting. Arkham Asylum is at level red alpha. All category one patients will be pacified on site. All the way up. Alert! A 
alert. We are currently experiencing a category red alpha security alert. This is not a drill. Report to your section commander. Here's an example of how detective mode works for you because you can see those goons up there uh, before I even get to that area. So. Warning. All patients should remain still and place their hands upon their heads. Failure to comply could result in action that could lead to injury or loss of life. Basically it allows me to prepare and uh, plan ahead. This is another introduction. Um, now, one of the things that the detective mode can do is, as I'm sure if, if you're reading, it says it can decipher cryptic symbols. This is also how you cure, how you solve like Riddler puzzles and everything like that. So, this is uh, this is really interesting. Listen to this. I am the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. Through my actions, I have saved this cursed city, though my own curse is to forever remain in the shadows. My story is carved into the very soul of Arkham, and will only be revealed to those dedicated enough to discover it. So, these are messages from the spirit of Amadeus Arkham, the founder of Arkham Asylum. Um, and if you find all of them, you uncover the story of Amadeus Arkham. So, again, an introduction to one of these little side collectible things. Um, if I find them all, I will include them, but I'm not going to be focusing on it, all right? Just because, again, it's character-based, it's interesting, but it's not part of the main story. Joker was right. This is easy. Bring it on! They don't stand a chance. It's the bat! Not yet, but I'm getting close. Harley Quinn tried to slow me down, dropped an elevator on me. Did it work? <laughs> of course not. I'll get back to you when I reach the end of the trail. <laughs> I love the like these classic Batman moments. Like I said, it's just written and voice acted so well. It's just it's amazing. Um, but yeah. Uh, you may have noticed while I'm fighting, every now and again, one of the enemies will get, like, some, like, blue symbols above his head. What that is, is that's a sign of an imminent attack, and basically it's my trigger to counter attack, right? So, if I just, if I just hit the attack button continuously, then their attack will land, and I will get dazed, and my flow will stop. But if I see one of those and I hit a different button, the counter attack button, then um, I can basically keep the flow going and I can prevent being hit, which... Please! I've got a kid! You don't have to! Right. I don't have to. I just want to. <laughs> okay! Boss says no one gets past! Anything moves? Shoot it! You got it! Anything from this way is dead. Well, that was an unpleasant interruption. Uh, but yeah, if you keep the uh, if you keep the momentum going, you uh, right now counterattacking is not that big of a deal. But later on, it becomes a very very big deal. So I probably don't want to uh, give myself away here. 
So, let's see. Those are the people that just got killed. Oracle, Joker's men have taken control of the cell block transfer corridor. That's not good. I patched it to a guard radio. It sounds like Joker's crew have got their hands on weapons. I know. I'll calibrate the cowl's vision mode to isolate armed henchmen. The direct approach is suicide. I need to be smart, find a different way past them. Again, this is what makes this game amazing, is that it's not just charge in and, and, and beat him up. There's actually like strategy and everything involved. Now, again, you may notice an arrow with a yellow circle at the very top of my screen pointing up that's telling me, look at the gargoyle. Because we've learned how to use gargoyles from when we fought Z Victor Zaz. Um, and we know that these uh, enemies, the ones in red, have weapons. So, we just copy the approach that we used with Victor Zaz. So is the bat really coming this way? Who cares? Takes it 20 head into the room and we blow it off. Yeah, he's a dead man walking. And, of course, what it's doing is it's recommending that we crouch to remain stealthy. Take them out one by one, because of course, if we alert them to our presence, we're gonna die. I'm gonna get out of detective mode here so you can get a sense for how that actually looks. I know where they are already. got those three taken care of, but, and I've earned an upgrade, uh, but as detective mode reveals, there is another armed uh, goon over there. I can't get to him directly, so let's see, again, let's stay crouching, let's stay stealthy. No problem, boss. Who is it just finishing off? The Arkham chumps never stood a chance. Well, good! Our friendly neighborhood rodent is on his way. You need to set a trap. He must not leave this building. Do you understand me? Uh, yes, boss. The, the bat is as good as dead. I hope you keep your promises, boy. I'd hate to have to go and punish her family just to teach you a lesson. And I can promise you, they won't be laughing. <laughs> but, Joker! Just do it and have fun. I know I will. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Are your pointy ears burning? I suppose I'd better warn my boys you're on the way. Uh, hey, maybe I won't. It'll be a nice surprise. <laughs> Joker's a bit of a lunatic, as I'm sure you've uh, you've gathered. But really, who who knows anything about Batman and doesn't know that Joker's a lunatic? Ah, so, yay! Stealth elements introduced. Ta-da! Um, and there's a grate that we can go through. Let's just uh, do a quick double check. Yeah, looks like I don't see anything else over there. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do... Um, uh, I'm going to do an upgrade, uh, because I've earned an upgrade from my, uh, from my actions, and uh, then I'm going to continue on. So I will see you on the flip side. All right.
So, I'm just gonna do a quick check over here just to confirm. Oh yeah, there's those uh, clouds of uh, Frankie Bowles breath, alcohol breath. That's lovely, isn't it? Let's head on back to that grate and see if we can get through. Yeah, I can't control the gate here, so let's go the way I can. your friendly Uncle Jay. Attention, we have an escaped patient. Dresses like a bat. Oh, what an idiot. Should be considered costumed and dangerous. Personally, I think the best solution is to put him out of his misery. It's the only reliable cure. Like taking candy from a baby. So this is an interesting situation where... Not using detective mode, to mess with us. I can see that there are three armed thugs. And they're moving around a bit. Like, if I'm pretty sure if I'd opened the grate... Nothing to be afraid of. Just a man who likes to dress up as a bat and... Ew, come to think of it, that really is a bit scary. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure if I'd opened the grate while he was, like, right here with these guards, he would have started shooting, and then, of course, I would have been full of bullet holes. Um, oops, my bad. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to head up to one of these gargoyle things. Now, this is really the first time they kind of let you play around with all the mechanics you've learned and see what you can do. He doesn't stand a chance! Oh, you guys are the best! Well, best I can find on such short notice. What's that supposed to mean? What are you doing? Someone get him! Ah! So I just did an inverted takedown where I strung that guard up, or that goon up, from a gargoyle. Which I can do when somebody walks underneath. Unfortunately, as you can see, that draws people's attention. Anyone got a plan? Come back when the bat is dead. So, when you do that, you kind of have to stay covert. Otherwise, they're going to start shooting at you up on the gargoyle. You now. Bet you're wondering which one of you will be next. I know I am. Joker wants you stopped. I'm gonna do it. Uh, but he's not walking underneath me. He's going to go down the stairs. That's no fun. And I love how it, like, in detective mode... I don't like this at all. In detective mode, I can see, like, their condition, right? Like, this guy's nervous. It tells me that on the side. Oh, hello. Hey, get off me! <laughs> Stupid boiler! Scared the crap out of me! Now he's terrified. You can do it, buddy! Well, let me put it this way. You better do it. You see what I mean? What? How What's going on? You, you really begin to feel like the Batman, doing all this sneaking around and everything. Stupid boiler! and utilizing fear to take out these criminals. There's only one left, so I don't have to worry about sneaking around as much. I can just do a what? glide kick. What's going on? Well, not anymore. He's not in a good position. But it looks like he's going to come underneath me. So I can do an inverted takedown. 
Honestly, inverted takedowns are like my favorite way of taking care of goons. Hey, get off me! I didn't do anything it was gonna be that easy, Bats. I've sent a few more of my boys your way. Let's see how you deal with these odds. <laughs> Joker wants him found. Spread out! He could be anywhere! Then keep your eyes open. Now move. Come on, boys, he's just one man! One man dressed like a lunatic and armed with a team. <laughs> Go get him! <laughs> I love that! That's awesome! You're mine, you hear me? That is like classic Joker. Well, it looks like only three of them. That looks like you're gonna. Get an inverted takedown if you keep coming this way. Remember, boys, look in every corner. He's a tricky one that could pop out of anywhere. When he does, blow his head off! Hey! Over here! There's someone up there! <laughs> and I love how the enemies react to this as well. Help me! I'll cut you down! Can't after break. I kill the bat! Where are you guys going? Huh? What's going on? Leave them there. We've got bigger problems. Find the map. So they're both going this way. He's probably going to come underneath this gargoyle here. Don't worry, boys. You can do it. He doesn't stand a chance. I'm not scared. Sure, you're not. <laughs> Detective mode is great for keeping an eye on where your enemies are as I'm sure you've been able to figure out. Along came a spider. Oh, man, I don't like this. What are you doing? Man, man. Ah! Nice to see uh, a caring employer. This isn't good. Now this room has uh, quite a few levels to it, as I'm sure you you can tell. Like, I can't glide kick him from here because he's too too low and there's too many obstacles in the way. You can only string one goon from a gargoyle at a time, so most of the gargoyles are currently occupied. What? What's going on? Eh, yeah, let's just end this with a glide click, a glide kick. Oh, no. You're coming underneath me. I love this. Two of you! <laughs> Find him! Here we 
we go. couple things. First of all, now that the goons are gone, we what we can do, there's a few things we can do. We can get into this building here, where the goons were really like stronghold, and see what we find. Like another interview tape. Patient interview number one. So I'm your first, and I touch you know what they say, you never forget your first time. I'll try to make it memorable for you. Oh, you already have. Tell me, why do you do the things you do? Why do you think I do it? Fame, notoriety, a desire to stand out from the crowd, a wicked sense of humor. <sighs> You're good. How did you figure me out, Doc? I've had doctors poking around in here for years, and no one was as astute, and if you don't mind my saying, beautiful as you. Really? Ah, oh, you're just playing with me. Well, you'll never know, will you? Unless... Unless what? Tell me! And thus begins the downfall of Dr. Harleen Quinzel. Well... That's probably a good point to end this episode. Um, we've uh, we've kind of made our way up to the surface level. We've had our first real, okay, we've taught you the tools. Now let's see what you can do with it kind of room. And uh, we got a little bit more insight into the downfall of Dr. Harleen Quinzel, as I mentioned before. So I hope you'll join me uh, next time. And see you later.